Hi guys, this is Coco from The Consumer Review and we have here the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. As we all know, the Mate 30 series phones does not come with Google Apps and services pre-installed. So what we're going to do is mag advise kami ng alternative apps na pwede natin gamitin under the HMS or Huawei Mobile Services. So let's get started! Under the HMS, we have a Huawei-focused ecosystem. So, ang target nila Huawei ay magkaroon ng sariling email. Just an example, uh, apps of course, uh, storage, maps, na somewhat familiar na kayo like uh, iOS. Yan, may sarili na silang ecosystem. So, the Huawei App Gallery is still in the process of building yung apps uh, collection niya. So most likely sa mga gumamit na mapapansin nyo na not all apps are updated or missing pa yung mga bigger apps. So Huawei is trying their best to bring yung more common apps and the frequently used apps para sa mga users. So here we have alternative app galleries na pwede natin gamitin to download these common apps or frequently used apps. So we have APK Pure. Pakita natin yung interface. So fully functional, similar to Google's Play Store. So simple lang ano, you just need to search. And as an example, we will try to download one of the apps. So as you can see, uh, Facebook and Messenger, we, uh, meron na tayo, Facebook Lite. Ida download nyo lang, and then later on, we can have it installed. So, ayan, yeah, example, install, and then done. So, pag in open, the same goes with Aptoid. We have the same interface na fully functional. mag download na lang. So, ito, for example, Call of Duty Mobile, familiar karamihan sa atin dito. Uh, meron na kami in-install na kapareho nito. Um, here, under the Huawei App Gallery, we have these apps na na-download namin. So, we have BDO, ito yung mga familiar, yung mga particular sa banking apps. So, Playtube, ito yung nakita namin na alter pwedeng alternative to YouTube. So we have TikTok, WeChat, MX Player, and then Carousel. Under APK Pure, mas marami kami nakuha. At the same time, APK Pure mas mabilis mag-download. So we got Facebook, Messenger, Gboard, uh, Google Keyboard sa mga sanay gumamit ng uh, Gboard. So we have Maps, gumagana siya uh, with location. So Instagram, WhatsApp, Viber, uh, more on social media and messaging apps. And then, of course, we have Lazada, Shopee, Skype, Translator, or the Huawei Translator, sa mga sanay gumamit din ito. LinkedIn, uh, these are most of the local apps na hinahanap ng karamihan sa atin. So, this is without Google pre-installed. So, as you can see, we have PUBG sa games. We have Mobile Legends. And then, under Aptoid, um, gaya na nasabi ko kanina, Call of Duty, this is the Garena version. Yung iba kasing version, kailangan ng parang VPN to play. So, ito, this is the version available sa Play Store. So, we have Asphalt A, just an example. So, YouTube Vance is a good alternative for YouTube. Walang ads, actually. So, yan. Ito, so far, ang aming uh, nakitang options, even without using Google. So, para dun sa mga may tanong regarding Google Apps and their possible alternatives, we have or so far, we were able to come up with a short list. So, yung mga gumagamit ng Google Drive, 
there is Microsoft OneDrive and then for notes uh, ako personally I'm using uh, Microsoft then OneNote and then we have for storage for other storage options Marame, Dropbox, uh, Mega for emails we have Huawei's uh, default email server um, app so we have the option to add magita nyo we have gmail so ayan all you have to do is log in and this should sync dun sa mail app nila ni Huawei and then we also have notepad So you can put your notes here and then kung may Huawei ID na kayong ginagamit, this can be synced sa Huawei Cloud. So another point is the Huawei ID and the Huawei Cloud. Currently, nag update din sila to bring more services av uh, available to us via the Huawei Cloud. So all you have to do is register um, I think by default meron silang available na 5 gigabytes of free storage currently under the Huawei ID overall the Huawei Mate 30 series is a, still a good upgrade with top-of-the-line specs currently one of the best in terms of camera features uh, yes walang Google pre-installed but that doesn't mean the phone is unusable. Gaya nga sabi ko kanina, Huawei is in the process of building their app gallery. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, uh, Huawei has invested 1 billion US dollars for app developers to develop apps for the app gallery. So as a consumer, will you recommend getting the phone? Ako, yes. Why? It may need a bit of effort, but I can still use the phone even if I don't have Google apps and services pre-installed. I can still download the apps I need using third-party applications. I can still use the phone according to my usage. There are certain apps that may not work on the Huawei Mate 30 series right now, but you can still use them via their website. So tell us what you think. Comment down below. Again, this is Coco from the Consumer Review.